after a handful of major insurers pulled out of the California homeowners insurance marketplace and then prices soared for auto coverage, you may be wondering how to find affordable coverage. But Christine Lazar is on your side this morning, joining us now with insurance agent Carl Sussman to talk about the state of the industry and what you can do to put money back in your pocket. Yeah, good morning, ladies. You know, we talk about this a lot. I know you've heard me talk about rates going up, people pulling out of the marketplace. Carl Sussman, you've always been a source of information for me. And I think what people first want to know because we're getting the higher premiums, we're seeing, you know, getting those letters saying, hey, we're dropping you. Is it going to get better or is it going to get worse? Well, I think everyone knows at this point, everything is costing more money, right? We're seeing gas prices, food prices, going to the movie prices, everything is costing more. So our insurance premiums are definitely in line with what's happening as far as watching the price of everything increase. As far as what's going to happen next, I think we're going to continue to see prices going up until there's a, until we reach a, a stable level where competition can re-enter the market, and then we'll start to see premiums lowering again. And I want to pull up some numbers that we pulled. These are here in California auto insurance recent filings, right? So here in California, you have to, if you're an insurance company and you want to increase premiums, you have to get approval from the Department of Insurance. And look at some of these numbers. Farmers, they requested 39.1%. They received that. Wawanisa, 39%. They received 30%. I mean, this is a lot of money for drivers. So the big question is, what can you do to save on auto insurance if you're getting hit with rate increases like this? Well, since everybody is going to be seeing them, it's a good idea to go over every possible option. What can we possibly do? So I think the first thing to do is to take a look at your vehicle's deductible, right? This is the amount you would be responsible for in the event of an accident and raise that deductible up. I know it's not fun. The idea of having to be potentially responsible for a thousand or even fifteen hundred dollars is not great but it's going to save you real money so it's worthwhile taking a look and seeing what deductible you have on the car also if the car is older you might decide that it makes sense just not to insure the car itself just keep insurance on yourself and your drivers liability insurance exactly another thing that can be done is there are discounts that many insurance companies offer called defensive driving discounts this is basically a course you take online we all need more online <laughs> more online things to do, right? So you can go online, you take a defensive driving course, it's usually about eight hours, and you'll get a certificate. And most insurance companies will give you a discount for your pre on your premium for taking that course. Like five to 10%, you said? Five to 10%, uh, yeah. And that adds and up. It's all of these add up. If you do all of these things, you will see a significant drop. Now this one I hadn't heard. You told me about if you've had a traffic accident or a ticket, what do you need to do? Right, so as you know, if you have a, if you have a ticket or you have an accident, you're going to pay a higher premium after that. But after a particular period of time, everyone says it falls off, right? That, that surcharge for the ticket or the accident will, will no longer be applicable. But that rarely will happen exactly when your policy is going to renew. So what you can do is check and see when that accident was, when that ticket was, and when that time passes, reach out to your agent or broker and say, am I eligible to have this policy re rewritten today? Because now I'm a different risk than I was. Don't you know, pay for the entire policy period when that accident is already far enough in the past. Okay, so you need to check. It's not gonna just fall off like we all say. It's supposed to fall off at the next renewal, but why wait? If you have four months, five months, six months before the policy renews, why continue paying that higher premium if you can start from scratch with another policy and go forward with the same company? We don't have a lot of time left, but I want to ask you this, because a lot of people write me this. They're, they're upset that their rates are going up, especially when they see the revenue that some of these insurers are making. So like Allstate, second quarter revenue, $13.9 billion, a 14% increase. Progressive, $15.3 billion, 33% increase. So so how do you see those numbers, but then also hear, oh, we're not making any money in states like California or Florida? Well, those numbers are for particular lines of insurance in particular areas. They're not necessarily auto insurance in West LA, right? So if we look at this holistically, if we look at what's happening, remember the Department of Insurance has to approve all of the rates and they're very consumer friendly. They will only approve the rates if there's numbers, black and white, to justify that those numbers are necessary to keep the insurance company solvent. Okay, thank you for your time and your expertise. And if you have questions about your insurance, we wanna hear from you. Email us at onyourside at cbs.com. We'll look into them. I can confer with Carl and we will get back to you and maybe do another segment where we answer some of your questions. Carl, thank you for being on and thank you for giving us ways to save money because we all need that right now. Back thank to you, you guys.